Hello Galaxy Heroes, uh, long time no see, yes, uh, outside broadcast or recording, so apologies immediately for the wind, I reside on an island, so it's always or nearly always windy here. Um, right, so what am I doing here? Why am I doing it? This is my ship climb from a couple of days ago, um, nothing's changed on here. Um, well, actually, I say nothing's changed. So, what we're running here is a five star negotiator, uh, unlocked negotiator, and obviously, through the Gian Ocean territory battle, I will be working on all of this. Um, ship wise, uh, negotiator, as I've said is five star it's as maxed as five star can be so i think the the ability levels on most things are six you can't take it to seven until it's seven star so that's where that is um anakin is so all my crew members are seven star um anakin and hound's tooth are both relic level seven sorry yes they are uh they were two so bosk was my second relic seven anakin was my third and in case you're curious as to who my first was my first actually was geon ocean brood alpha done for the guild yeah g-o-t-b um my way of thinking was that geon ocean brood Brood Alpha was a great one to Relic 7 because it's not just him, it's his mate, the Brute. They both get the bonuses. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, and Baron is piloted or crewed by Fives and he, I believe, is Relic Level 3. I think I've taken him up to 3, uh, partly to bolster his clone 501st galactic republic tags and everything and what he brings there and secondly because um the ship gets some great great boosts in fact you've probably noticed already look at that milf down milf down yes this is the uh the fleet i'm running um so i'm rush rushing into this apologies for how quickly i'm speaking but i've drunk an awful lot of coffee today um so my fleet the way i'm running my fleet is as you can see it's houndstooth fives or bar and starfighter and annie's whatever the hell it is it's got uh, some letters numbers and whatever but annie's ship or anakin jedi knight anakin even uh they're the first three uh, because negotiator is only five star that means that I can only have three reinforcements my three reinforcements are Cassian's U-Wing, Xanadu Blood and Ahsoka Tano's um, ship whatever that is so uh, Galactic Republic wise four ships Baron, Annie, Ahsoka, actually three, duh, three ships. And then we've got one rebel in Cassian, two bounty hunters in uh, Bosk and Cad Bane. Um, yeah, there should be, well, there should be, there are a couple of defeats in here as well. I was rushing through. Um, basically, my payout is around my meal time. Um, and uh, to remove or reduce as many dirty looks from my family uh, by not being ready, hey, <coughs> not being ready for the meal, uh, I try where possible to get as high as I'm going uh, that day. Um, to be honest, on ships, I'm aiming for first because. As far as I'm aware, I'm in a, a ship shard chat. As far as I'm aware, definitely within my chat, I'm the only one going for first at my time slot. Uh, I share first on arena, but on ships, uh, left to my own devices. So yeah, so that's the aim here. Uh, and as you saw from the first battle, 
uh, I, I was away. Uh, I didn't contribute. I'm awful. Apologies to any guild members who are watching this. Uh, I missed out. There was a load of stuff going on. Unfortunately, I didn't really participate in our last territory war. Um, I didn't participate in either arena, hence me dropping all the way down to 47th. I haven't been that low um, since my team... No, no, I haven't been that low in, in quite a while. Um, just generally, yeah, yeah. That's probably the lowest I've been in in quite some time. Anyway, that being said, let's call in the reinforcement who's coming in. Uh, no one. Big badder boom. Ships all gone. Victory is ours. Yeehaw. Let's move on. So 29th to 22nd. Uh, yeah. So and as you can see, I'm just doing the refreshes. Uh, I've covered that. That was uh, me just trying to get everything out of the way and still enjoy a family meal. Yes. Only so many dirty looks one can withstand whilst playing the game. Uh, other than that, if you're wondering why there hasn't been much content from me, uh, what do we bring you? I mean, you know, you can see my Grand Arena Championship, but, you know, that's flogged to death. Uh, well, not flogged to death, but there are... People that do way better jobs than that. Uh, personal favourite, Urs. Yeah, tune in, watch Urs's Gak. They're fantastic. Um, help out Ranger every now and again from Reality Skew Gamer on his. Uh, yeah, there's, there's loads of stuff. And it's like, well, you know, people are doing it way better than me. I can do it if you want it. But yeah, answers on a postcard, please. Um, other than that, what else? Arena, uh, yeah, I, I can do that. Arena at the moment is Galactic Republic. Um, <laughs> basically coming back to ships here. And he's Relic 7. General Kenobi, aka Mr. Beardy, is Relic Level 5. I've got a Gear 13 Shack. And then it's Padme Lead. And what I'm finding is C3. C3PO. I've got so Padme Lead, C3, General Kenobi, Anakin and shack t does seem to do the job climbing for me on galactic republic uh in arena um g and ocean territory battles yeah can do that uh, again everyone's covering that oh yeah we've got the introduction of relics relics have kind of like taken us to gear level 14 or 13 plus so that's becoming easier and easier basically what i'm saying here is that you know we've got new <coughs> financial implication uh thing things that have been launched relics gear 13 other than that what we got uh we're all sitting here with our thumbs up our asses waiting for something to happen um negotiators come live yay uh covering that as you can see here we go with a monster this is 20 minutes in total so uh well done me and well done you well done me for talking non-stop for 20 minutes and you for fast forwarding me non-stop talking for 20 minutes yay uh yeah so uh, personally i I just I haven't put content out because basically uh, I just don't haven't really felt as though any of my content is relevant. That sounds awful to say, but you know it, it, it's the truth. I, it's, if, all I'm doing is going over what I've done. Uh, I might see if I can play around with a Mike Hunt Productions. Uh, I've got a few things I'm pondering about. It's going to require me going through my files and finding some footage but there might be some of those coming up but i might be probably because i enjoyed those and i hope you do too uh otherwise <laughs> milf down milf down love that do love that this is about the only thing that i find is kind of refreshing i, I put out my bounty hunters taking on droids in arena uh, but that's kind of calmed down a hell of a lot. Basically, you need a squad that will take down a, a Grievous Kill squad. And then your Sith Empires. Um, 
you know, there's rumours around. I'm seeing that we might be getting an, another Anakin. Yay, that's what we need is multiple tunes. Um, I get it. It's the way of getting more dosh out of us all. And, of course, that's what the, 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 the whole idea of this game is, is, is generating income for the company that provide it. I mean, it's a lovely game. I, don't get me wrong. I'm not disillusioned with the game. I'm just feeling that there isn't much in the way of content recently that i can add to if that makes sense i hope it does yay we won again so where are we here oh, a coffee <laughs> if i haven't drunk enough all right so we're up to 11th if i haven't had enough coffee i've got another one waiting for me yay so another refresh <coughs> oh, we're getting to the pointy end now so these are all the the heavier hitters obviously uh, the higher you climb the more developed the rosters the fleet that you're facing is uh, fortunately if facing Akbar rebels um, yeah negotiator has has been pleasant in that respect um you know it's like the arena meta tends to kind of stick around for six months the ship meta what we're three years of ships and i think we've had three metas so we're kind of looking normally around about a year at least per ship meta this is nice this this opens things up it allows us to run other ships um you know it's just we've all got access to if we don't oh oh look at that i am loving absolutely loving what the ambaran can do how about that triple triple hit go on air the clones or the galactic republic or whatever we're looking at here so we're getting there as you can see i am am i did really really race through all of these apologies nothing to see here move along well actually there's lots to see here because there's all the ship battles so there's nothing to hear here i suppose here here oh, yes let's go political no let's not go political that's that's really not where we want to go uh yeah i've uh, been racing through trying to talk all across this for your viewing and oral pleasure uh, our rule sorry not oral slightly different uh, yeah uh, okay so uh yeah uh tips can i give tips is there tips that i want to give uh the only one i can really say is maybe hang back a bit with the umbar on the special uh i was saying to a, a, a guild mate earlier that if you can if you can set it up especially if milf is one of the target locked and you get that through the uh the hit everything and days some uh negotiator ability whatever that is called if you can get a couple of target locks and an open target to go for for the third oh my well you saw i took out three ships in the the previous battle with this this one's probably one of the losses uh, it's not looking good we're down here now so it's five against two uh it's really not looking good uh i think i'm just gonna right so it's four against two still not looking good i think we're about to be uh four against one go on there the you all right so uh oh he's hanging on so it's three against four Ooh. But i think the writing's on the wall on this one that that uh yeah don't expect to yeah okay so there's a bar and god so basically you've got kind of like three damage dealing ships in the fleet that i'm running uh which is annie and Baron and Snips. Snips can do some major, major damage. Uh, but this one, she's not gonna, I don't think. Okay, so we're gonna try, we are trying, definitely trying. Uh, played it all wrong. I should, 
there should be a way that I can just forward to the end of this battle so we can get on with the next one but uh no let's prolong it even more oh hang on what can we do here not enough right so houndstooth's gone down to one ship I tried I failed boo who yeah boo hoo I'll sob okay and they still take forever it seems to yeah go on get her get her gone Get her gone so we can get back in the battle. Yeah, I won this round. It's a defeat. I did say that there were some. So we'll go back in. Still seventh. Go back in. Go into the highest spot, which is third, isn't it? I oh, know. I can only see it on a small screen. Apologies for the background noises. Uh, so we're back in again. Uh, let's go. So I'm opting to hit Bistan here. He's going to stealth, but he's still going to stay hit. So the, one, of the, one of the things that you need to be mindful of running this is the number of debuffs. Uh, if you put three or more debuffs onto them, as soon as they go through the MILF uh, factor, they'll cleanse everything. So try being careful with what you use when you use it. See, I, hadn't, I, I opted there not to use that AOE because they would have just been cleansed and yes we don't want them to cleanse so we'll hang on to that for a moment we'll also hang on to the Umbaran special um, just hope that our hound's tooth can survive long enough relic seven hound's tooth but no he can't he down relic hound's tooth down so calling in Cassian we're gonna have a crack now at Oh, am I? Sorry, it's got really windy. Yes, we are. Right, so here, right, so MILF's target locked. I can now go for another ship because I will hit and it cannot dodge it. It's lovely. So there you go. So they've gone from four ships down to two ships. Um, and even with Houndstooth, I mean, fortunately, Houndstooth doesn't hit too hard. Um, and we can do these big AOEs and everything still. Uh, now we can just start to really blast the hell out of their hound's tooth. Uh, who's coming in now? Ahsoka. Da -da 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 -da. Ahsoka to the rescue. It's not Ahsoka. We've called in Xanadu Blood. Yeah, I did that for the assist. There's going to be a cleanse, but look, the most annoying shipping game at the moment, as far as I'm concerned, Phantom, down, gone, by z by, off you jog. So now we've just got <coughs> a coffin fit from me and Houndstooth to dispatch. Yes, it does take a while, but again, coming back to what I said, Houndstooth doesn't really hit too hard. So, you know, it's a case of it's just target practice, isn't it? There's no. You know, if, if, if Houndstooth's not taunting, you can go for any rebels. So if there's more than one rebel, just get rid of their assist side of things. So bye-bye ghost, is it? Should be. Sort of ghost. Yes, off you jog, mate. So now all we've got left is the tooth again. And tooth is not looking too healthy. Huh, crap. Okay, do your best. That was good. My turn. Bye. There we are. Yes. So, Hound's Tooth down, which leads us to 17 minutes of me waffling. And finally, we're on to battle for first. Let's do the refresh. Here we go. And into. I know that this squad is awesome. Uh, so, this one's going to be quite interesting. And again, I'm going to target Bistan first of all. My hound's tooth is faster than his uh, milf. So I suppose the other thing is, is that he <laughs> so he's trying to safeguard one's own Umbaran and Anakin. Anakin kind of is saved because he's got this you can't kill me feature at the beginning. Oh, target locks. Look at that. So now all we've got is the MILF standing. I don't care whether the MILF's got it's you can't hit me. If you're the only one, mate, you're getting hit. Deal with it.
boom. It wasn't a big boom. There you go. 47th to 1st. Thank you for watching. <laughs>